growing up on a dairy farm, you learn why they had five kids. Labor's a lot cheaper that way, and so we spent the summers uh, working out in the, in the grape vineyards. You really learn the value of hard work growing up on a farm, learn the value of community. Graduated from the same public school that my uh, dad and my grandfather and my brothers graduated from. I was a page in the U.S. House of Representatives my junior year of, of high school, so here you have a little farm boy uh, from Southwest Michigan that never spent much time off the farm, going off to uh, Washington, D.C., working on the floor of the house, going to school at the Library of Congress. Really learned a lot in terms of uh, how to be involved in, uh, in, in politics and really make a, make a difference. After high school, I applied to a lot of different schools, but Hills I just felt the most at home with, that they want to teach how to learn instead of what to learn. I thought that was very important. So after I graduated, I managed a campaign for a person running for the state senate, provided me uh, a lot of, of knowledge and, and understanding of, of fundraising and dealing with the media and, and approving uh, mail pieces and TV and all the stuff on the political side that's needed to make the policy work. In February of 2010, I decided to, to come back home and decided it was time for me to step up. I felt I could make a difference, that what was happening up in Lansing wasn't working. I quit my job, uh, didn't have a paycheck for 10 months, and I just went out there knocking doors throughout the entire district. In the fall, I was able to win my 30 points. And so there was a stamp, and we came in that fall uh, with a Republican majority in the House, Republican majority in the Senate, Republican governor, and we rolled up our sleeves and we got to work for the citizens of Michigan. I served my six years, uh, three two-year terms, that's the maximum you can serve in the House. Governor Snyder called me up and asked me if I wanted to work for the administration. He offered me the role of lottery commissioner and you're the single person in charge of the entire state lottery bureau, $3.1 billion sales organization. So I'm very blessed and proud to, to have received this, and I hope I can live up to the, the standards that uh, Hillsdale has set.